Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Cody here. Um, today should be a pretty quick and simple video. Um, I'm going to be going over the importance of uh, properly prepping your water cooling radiators um, before installing them into a loop. I've used a lot of different brands uh, when it comes to water cooling radiators. Uh, the cleanest ones that come to mind are XSPC, EK, and uh, Hardware Labs. Out of all the flushes that I've done, those three are um, repeatedly the cleanest. Whereas Alpha Cool and Phobia, which I think they might be the same uh, OEM, they tend to be the biggest offenders. Now, some people ask me, why do we have to prep a water cooling radiator if it's brand new? Why is that bad for my loop if I don't prep it? When it comes to water cooling radiators, and I will show you this 360 monster radiator from Alpha Cool that I'm currently um, flushing. Whenever these are made at the factory, guys, uh, a lot of water cooling radiators, they have the, uh, the end tanks here that are made out of brass. Um, the center portion and the tubes, uh, those are gonna be made out of copper. Now, just like how you would uh, solder the copper tubes for your house for your plumbing, um, if you've done that type of work before, the tubing and the different copper components inside of the radiator are gonna need to be soldered. And with solder comes extra slag and flux and stuff like that. Now those, when they get into your very sensitive cooling loop for your computer can wreak absolute havoc. They can cause massive shifts uh, in the uh, pH of your, uh, you know, your fancy coolants, which in turn can make your reds look brown, your blues turn green, all that type of stuff. Uh, not to mention that you know all these radiators, um, you know, they'll every now and then you know they'll have little flakes of copper or little you know flakes from the paint finish and stuff like that. Um, and those can end up getting caught in all of the little micro channels inside of your water blocks. So it's very important to properly prep your radiators. Um, there's a lot of people online that will say, you know, all you have to do is, you know, do some, uh, do some hot water flushes or, you know, you can use something like vinegar. Um, I'm still kind of indifferent on that. Uh, before we had some of the more extensive cleaning solvents, you know, that was the route I had to go, but I mean, I put gallons and gallons of boiling hot water that, you know, was also made out of vinegar or had vinegar mixed into it. And I would still have problems with some of the dirtier radiators like those made by Alpha Cool. So um, if you're in the water cooling game, you guys have probably heard of a company called Mayhem's. Mayhem's has a whole plethora of cleaning solutions. Today we will be looking at Blitz Part 1. Um, Blitz Part 1 comes with a 250 milliliter bottle of his radiator prep solution. The active ingredient in this is phosphoric acid. You heard that right. It can be pretty nasty stuff. The kit comes with gloves like what I'm wearing here. Comes with a pair of goggles. Um, and comes with instructions. Now I have talked with the guys at Mayhem's before guys always go with the mixing uh, um, Mixing ratios that are on the instructions that come with Mayhem's that, that goes for their coolants It goes with their cleaning solutions um, You know, they don't always have time or the money or resources to you know relabel all of their bottles They order these in huge batches. So always go with the instructions so as of right now, um, it's going to be 250 milliliters of Blitz Part 1 for 750 milliliters of distilled water. So you're looking at a mix ratio of roughly, what is that, uh, one part solution to three parts uh, water. Um, another thing I see people do is they think it's okay to use tap water out of the faucet when you're mixing these guys. After you spend all your money on your radiators and your fittings, spend the extra one or two bucks, get yourself a gallon of distilled water. The whole point here is to get rid of a lot of impurities. So why add impurities from your tap water like calcium and you know uh, chlorine and stuff like that? That's 
commonly found. I like to fill my radiators with a G and quarter funnel. This one I got from Prima Chill. I think it was only like three or four dollars. Um, and prepare to fill your radiator. Now, I happen to know from experience that the 360 millil uh, millimeter monsters hold about 880 milliliters of fluid. So it's not gonna quite use the whole bottle of cleaning solution, but um, we're gonna get pretty close. Um, also, Blitz Part 1 is to only be used in radiators, guys. It will strip plating off your water blocks. It'll wreak havoc throughout your entire loop. Do not use that for your loop. There's uh, the next component of this cleaning system is called Blitz Part 2. That's what you use for loop prep, guys. This is just for radiators. So while I'm talking about that, you guys also want to make sure that the stop fittings you use in your radiators, the ones that you use after you fill it, make sure that these are just like some really crappy ones you don't care about or ones that are just exposed copper like ones I have here because the Blitz Part 1 will pull the fancy coatings off of your stop fittings. So don't make that mistake like some people have. Um, so I am going to go ahead and get this baby filled. I won't record that or make y'all watch that because that's not really exciting unlike filling a whole brand new loop so i will get this thing filled um, it's supposed to sit in the phosphoric acid water mix um, for uh, 6 to 12 hours i like to go on the longer side i typically do 12 to 15 i've had really great results doing that so um, i'll see you guys back here in just a little bit